Do you want to learn how to accept credit card payments online? It's a lot easier than you may think and better for your business. One third of people shopping online in the United States use their credit cards to make a purchase. Today, we will be covering how to enable credit card purchases on your website. I'm Alex here with Jotform. Let's get into it. When it comes to online credit card payments, there are two things you will need, a payment gateway and a payment processor. Let's look at an online payment step-by-step -step to better understand how these things interact. E-commerce transactions begin when a customer clicks buy and enters their credit card number into the payment gateway. The gateway software will then encrypt customer card data, charge the appropriate amount, and send the information to your payment processor. This is usually your merchant account with a merchant acquiring bank. If a business doesn't have a merchant account, there are plenty of third-party processors like PayPal and Square. They act as both gateways and payment processors. Then the payment processor will send an authorization request to the bank of the customer's card, authorizing or denying the charge. And lastly, the bank will send the authorized payment to the payment processor and deposit the money into your account. There are several advantages to having a merchant account, but the simplest way to start accepting credit card payments on a new website is by adding the right gateway. Many e-commerce platforms already have built-in gateway integrations that you can enable with a simple admin interface. Digital storefront providers like Shopify, BigCommerce, and Magento come with credit card processing as a standard. It is much easier to choose an integrated payment solution, and since you would only be dealing with one provider, you can trust that everything will work together smoothly. Some of the most well-known integrated payment gateways are Authorize.net, PayPal, Braintree, and Stripe. Now, using a customized gateway integration provides a specialized shopping experience, but it can be more complicated. And some payment gateway providers allow for a higher level of customization than others. You can include sophisticated upselling actions and provide a lot of optional product features on your user's end. It's important that you look into whether a particular payment gateway will offer these options. Some e-commerce merchants even choose to develop their own proprietary payment gateways. The downside to this is that it is a very complex web development project and you could face many compliance challenges before creating a legitimate gateway. But the good news is that creating your own gateway allows you to build customer integrations which can go beyond trading secure data back and forth, though it is a good idea for first-time online sellers to start accepting credit card payments by partnering with a reputable gateway provider. You can improve your credit card payment process once your business gains more traction. Okay, let's review. Online credit card payments require a payment gateway and a payment processor. The gateway sends the card information to your processor, then the processor sends an authorization request to your customer's bank, authorizing the charge. There are plenty of payment options already available, like PayPal, Authorize.net, Braintree, and Stripe. Once your business gains more traction, you can even look into developing your own personalized payment gateways. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Alex here with Jotform. Bye for now.